Alright guys, this is Scapegoat again, this is Ifrian, uh, one of the most thrash bands you can see at the minute. So can you start off at the beginning and at the end, how did you guys get together? Um, well, it started off as me and these two guys, Chris and Paul. Uh, we were called Unjustice at the time, with a U, which is a... Uh, Classy. Yeah, <laughs> um, that kind of fell apart. Uh, and, and in the meantime, Ian joined, Jacob joined, Rico joined, and then Alan joined last. And uh, we changed our name to Ifrian. Since then, we've uh, we've been playing gigs. We recorded an EP, which it's pretty much finished. We're just waiting for artwork. Yeah. Um, and now here we are, um, gigging away, gigging away, and, and fucking Try showing to make ourselves. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, uh, once once artwork's ready, we'll release our EP. Uh, we're probably gonna. Start. We're working on like we're writing a full album. We've got we've got like a few songs that are in the works that uh, should bring it all together. Yeah, okay. nearly a full so album's worth. With the EP, was there certain people that you wanted to utilize, like for the production side of things, or was it literally all yourselves? Were you doing it from the grassroots? It was. Yeah, we didn't have anyone. It was just us. Yeah, we recorded basically everyone ourselves, and like we sent it off to. Uh, a guy in Spain, David Fo, da David Fao, 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 to mix and master it, and uh, he basically did it for fuck all as well. That sounds so, awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, 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 the initial agreement was he was going to do it for like a discounted price because he knew one of our band members personally, but it took him so long to do it just because he's a busy guy. Yeah. Um, that in the end he just didn't charge us anything. Okay. Um, but. It sounds it sounds good. Uh, we're, we're excited to show it off. To you're happy with the sound that came out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We're just, Definitely. We're just waiting for um, just waiting for everything to be ready. You don't yeah. want to you don't want to you don't want to like hit, you don't want to tease it too much when there's you're uncertain of when it will be ready. Yeah. So we're just kind of telling people oh it's in the works still. But once we've got artwork and, we, and then we can start some distribution then. Be out. So, who are you trying to collaborate with? Artwork, or is it the same again? Are you guys sketching it up? Or because I see you've got some merch sitting downstairs and things like that. Who did that? The can't remember the guy's name. I don't know either. <laughs> it was sorry, our sorry, we can't credit you. <laughs> it, was, it was our guitarist Rico. Found him. Found him online. Found his stuff, and was just like, that's really cool. And like, he again, let us do it for free. We're trying to do everything on the cheap. You know, uh, at least at the start, not to like, begin with. Yeah. So that's away. the whole point. It's the community thing. You've got to collaborate with people to get your stuff out there. Exactly. Yeah. So that's pretty good. So, Ifrian, where did the name come from? What's it all about? What does it mean? Uh, it's you, the, you, in the, you weren't in the band. I wasn't in the band when you came up with it. No, it's the Irish Gaelic translation for hell or underworld. I'm pretty sure we're pronouncing it wrong as well. Yeah, all right. But like, we've been, it, people have been calling us that for so long, we just kind of go along with it. Wait, I think it's you, you, want, you want the three syllables: Ifrian, yeah. Megadeth. Yeah, yeah. that's what you want. Savage Obituary. one. Yeah, you want. <laughs> yeah. Just you want. Yeah. 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 Well, it is like hardcore party thrash sort of stuff that you do, and it's the same with the lyrical content, with the hell sort of thing. Yeah, like, yeah. It's all pretty brutal, like, I'm liking it a lot. It's all spooky. Thanks very much, man. Yeah. So with uh, the influences, who influenced you to actually start playing and things like that? Me as a drummer, um, Clive Burr from Iron Maiden was probably my first influence. Um, but over, as I got older and as I started to listen to more music, I've really taken, taken bits from all these different drummers. Nick Menzer is a big influence. I think every film that I ever do is basically a rip-off of a Nick Menzer film. Well, that's all right. Um, <laughs> that's, they could be a lot worse. Yeah, you that's could be true, ripping yeah. up from. That's true. Yeah. What about you? Do you have any like? See, well, I was a guitarist before I joined the band. Like, but well, still, I'm a guitarist. I didn't really think I'd end up doing vocals. Yeah. And it was our guitarist Rico found me in a nightclub one night. I was just like pissed as fuck, and I was singing at the top of my voice. He was just like, "Do you want to join my band?" And, uh, yeah. All right. Yeah, because you got some set of pipes on the band. They're thanks, fucking man. awesome. Thank you. Like, and also it's like the kind of groove aspect as well, I can definitely see that like shining yeah. through as well, like dual guitars and stuff mm. like that, it's really fucking awesome. There is, there is a very, I know it's so generic to say, but there's loads of different influences and that like, you know, we're, we would call ourselves a thrash metal band through and through, but there's bits from all of our songs that you can take from loads of different influences. Yeah, definitely. That, that, our last song, there's a really Iron Maiden kind of melody thing, uh, which kind of just came out of nowhere and it was like, that sounds good. Let's let's, let's do, do it. And then we have we've got this other song that's really sort of like groovy and black metal. It's got some black metal bits. We didn't play that tonight. Um, the songs we've been working on recently are very technical, much more technical than what we're usually doing. Yeah. Um, and our other song 
the song we played second, No Pass Around, that's groovy, that's just really groovy. You know, we take loads of different influences, but like, if, if, you had to, if we had to say one word, we'd say we're a thrash band. Yeah. But, um, we're just, a, we're just, we just, we like everything, we play, we play what we like, and that's yeah. a lot of things. Well, I've seen as well that you've been touring a hell of a lot. Uh, you've got yourself out there, which is great, as, since you're such a young band when it comes down to it. Yeah. So, is there any bands out there that you yourselves would like to play with, or been on tour with, or even bands that you just saw and you were blown away by? Anyone you want to give a shout well, out to? Well, obviously, like, Slayer would be nice, but yeah. like, um, <laughs> Oh, this For local bands, though, like Disposable is probably my favorite like local band. I, I think they're like the best boys. Jack and Will are solid boys. I, I think yeah, they're yeah. like our biggest influence in terms of like a local bands. Yeah. See, seeing them do what they do, really thought, oh, I want to do that. And we, 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 when we were starting out, we were like, right, what did Disposable do? <laughs> Not. You know, they were, they were just the first sort of local band I really got into, and they sort of showed me how it's done in the local scene. Um, we've played with them a few times, they're great fun, we're good friends with them. Um, so shout out to fucking Disposable for being yeah. the best band in Edinburgh. Well, yeah. um, in terms of like bigger, you know, the, just the thrash metal bands that you hear about nowadays who really who really like keeping the genre alive, Havoc, Cytosis, Warbringer, those kind of bands, we'd love to play with them. We've, we've, all, we've all seen them live, we've you know, we're all fans of them. Um, we were even friends with some of the members on Facebook, you know what I mean? The, Perfect. That's what, that's what you do, you just give them a message and can we support you? <laughs> well, that's the point, is, is, is it's a two-way street. These people would never know about you unless you message them. And that's the point, you've got to get yourself out. We, we actually, um, we've got pals in York, this local, uh, local band in York, and we met them at Heavy Scotland. We met the main guy at Heavy Scotland, and I just became pals with him at the festival. Who's this? Uh, his, his name's Alex Newsom. He's in a... He's in a band called Pariah. Is it Pariah? Or yeah, it's Pariah. I can't remember. Um, they're really good. They're from York. They play like melodic death metal stuff. But we just met the guy, and by the end of the festival, we were like, "We don't play together. Let's start a show. We're going to York in February. <laughs> they're coming up to Edinburgh in March. Mm. So there you go. That's us, that's us both done a favour for each other. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, we just we just need to keep doing that. I've messed, I've been speaking to a couple bands then in England, toying with the idea. Of like getting shows. Yeah. There's this one English band called uh, Repulsive Vision. They're also really good. You guys are brilliant. Um, they, uh, I spoke to one of the guys from them, and he's going to try get us on this festival thing that he does down in England. Cool. And that's another thing to look forward to in the future as well. So I think it is kind of gearing up to get the tours on the go to refine what you've already got and Definitely, then yeah. nail down the next one. Yeah. Like, have you thought about what you're going to be doing with this new album? Is there anyone that you would like to go to? Like, because there's lots of folk which are really like waiting for what you guys are going to bring out and as I say this is why I had to interview you guys so tell us what's happened like, just basically to get outside of Edinburgh you know we played one gig in Glasgow and I think like more and more we tour around Scotland that's like good you know like make a name for us down here and then after that try and push down into England we've Wales, got Ireland we've got a leg to stand on for being quite big in Scotland yeah and then that'll jump us to England. And then I like to stand on in the UK and we'll start to push us to Europe. And then Europe beats US. To the rest of the world. The whole big shebang. So um, I take it with this album, you're going to do like a bigger PR package trying to send it out to labels, trying to get signed, yeah. things like that. Yeah, we were hoping to do that with the EP, but we, I'd rather wait till the album. Yes. I think that, I think yeah, the yeah. album will definitely sh be much more of an accurate representation of what we can do yeah. more than the EP. Yeah. We've definitely, like, the three songs we did for the EP, Three, three of the first songs we ever done, and um, the stuff we've been coming up with recently is much, it's much better. It's much more, yeah. we're, we're more mature songwriters. We're better musicians. We're starting to get our flow as a group of musicians, yeah. and um, that stuff will just, that stuff just sort of sends a better message. But yeah, as soon as it's ready, just like send it to everyone. <laughs> so, do you think from when you guys first started to where we are now, has it evolved? Has like your sound changed, the gear, the practice space? Can you talk us through what's changed from the beginning to the Um I mean, from the beginning, there was a completely different lineup, and with no disrespect to the previous guys, but the, the current guys, much more experienced. In uh, uh, so Rico and Alan, our two guitar players, they've both been in bands. Rico's from Spain. He was in a band in Spain called Deathbringer. Alan's in Black and Ritual up in Perth. Yep. Everyone knows who they are. Um, so they definitely were able to bring their mature influences into the band, and that's definitely helped. Um, Practice-wise, we always we've just practiced every Sunday evening in yeah. Banana Row Studios. 
Yeah, since the start, really, that's not really changed. Banana Row is a sick place as well. Very, yeah, very, very cheap. Really, really nice guys, really good setup. Yeah. And they know what they're talking about as well. They've they got questions, they'll answer them. Like, yeah. so knowledgeable. Yeah. Now that they have a full studio as well, so we can record an album there if you really want to. Right? Yeah, man. Even the pits and bobs that then can correlate into an album. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> That's absolutely sick. So, a couple of fun ones. Any tour antics that's been going on? Anything that you need to tell the new generation that might be coming up of what to do or what not to do on tour? Uh, don't don't let your bass player milk that he got hit by a car three years ago and say, guys, <laughs> and say, guys I need a lift to everywhere when, he, can, sure when he walks fine and he can run fine. Um, that's one thing. Uh, I don't know, do we have any like stage antics? Don't really. play without monitors. We did a show without monitors and it was it was a mess. Yeah. <laughs> we could hear each other. I oh, was, you I was fast as fucking raw as fuck, so if you can't hear yourself then... Like, I remember, I, I, see, I think I was just lost. Was I could see like, in the front, it was like, yeah. he was like, and I was like, oh, this is just terrible. And, um, but, you know, we definitely learned from that, and if we were ever at a show where we didn't have monitors, we'd bring our own. Um, yeah, so, as well, it, it, one thing that's always, I've been a little bit scared of, but it's just something you need to do, don't be afraid to just ask people things. You know, you, don't, you might want to seem rude, or you, don't want to, you might think it's rude or keen or to, to message promoters, to message other bands, say, I'm in a band, can we sort something out? They need the business too. Yeah. Promoters need bands to put on, and you as a band need a promoter to put your... Don't ask, you don't get. Yeah. yeah, don't ask, you don't get. <laughs> don't, don't think, oh, it's rude, you just got to do it. And most of these, you, you, might get, you might get ignored a few times, you might, some people might not want you, but don't let that, like, stop you, just keep, keep asking, um, but like prove yourself as well. Yeah, you keep know, bearing yourself. Yeah. Say like, oh, like this is our last gig. Just show them out, see what you think. Tell them, you know, you got to make them aware of how good you are. Yeah. You know. Um, but don't ask, you don't get. Thank you very much, guys. That's been Thank absolutely you. awesome, Thank you man. Thank you very much, man. Cheers. Cheers I will speak to you soon, and hopefully get the new, new tour dates up as yeah. and when you can. Right? Yeah, man. Thank, Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.